did they ever catch the arsonist? Yeah, there, there's, that's the comment. There was a lot of things that burned in my hometown. Uh, I don't know if some of it might have been uh, not uh, by natural causes, that's for sure. I, I graduated from high school uh, in 1973, and that summer was when the Russian grain deal went through and the price of grain shot up. And I'd heard my dad tell me all my life, get off this farm, you know, because the prices were poor and everything else, and suddenly farming was looking pretty good. And so I, I came back wanting to farm, and, and there were a number of reasons I kind of lay out in the, in the book. Dad's machinery was old and it needed replacing, and interest rates were going up. And in the late 70s, all these, this just onslaught of agricultural chemicals and required all this plumbing and all the equipment and everything else. And I, I am not handy enough, nor did I really have the desire to, to enter into that type of farming. So I thought, well, better to have the farm and, and not farm. And you know, it turned out to be luck on my part, not anything else. But you know, had I stayed farming, I'm sure we would have probably lost the farm in the 80s. Do you really think that uh, farms could operate efficiently smaller? Could you make a living uh, uh, with a, you know, rather than going mega? Well, I don't think through, I, I think we need to have a discussion about that. You know, I, I don't buy into this idea of efficiency. To be economically efficient, you have to spread your fixed, one of the components is spread your fixed cost across as many acres as you can. Well, what does that imply? That implies you got to get more land. How do you get more land? I say in here by coveting your neighbor's farm. I mean, that's, that's immoral. If that's efficiency, then we got to find another way to be efficient. And one of my, I touch on in, in this uh, book, all these abandoned farmsteads in North Dakota have become meth labs, or not all of them, but I mean, they, they're potential for meth labs. A lot of farmers, to avoid liability, are raising these farmsteads. There's a social cost that we pay, but we don't pay it in the food that we, we purchase. So we just need a more holistic way of looking at all this stuff.